Hello and welcome back to Beyond Design. I know it's been quite long since the last tutorial in the series, but then uh, got stuck with some things and uh, some projects. So let's see further how we can enhance our chroma or how to get a proper chroma edge in your D spill. We have seen how to do a core D spill. We have seen how to do a core mat. We have seen how to do an edge mat. Uh, certain people had this query whether that tutorial was all about uh, working with IBK, but no, it's not. You can use the technique that you want, the technique that you want. This is just the technique that I'm using over here. So please don't have any doubts. Like this is the only way to go forward if you want to create the edge mat. I just showed you the techniques which I use in the industry, which most of the uh, seniors, most of my seniors are following. Okay, so you can go ahead and try this, or you can use your own technique as well. But coming back to today's topic, today we'll be concentrating on a very unconventional way of removing an edge spill now you'll see the setup over here is nothing like you have seen before okay and it's quite different than what we have done so what i have done over here is i have tweaked my key light like if i click over here and press one you'll see no matter i have used the key light for doing the d spill but it is very unconventional generally we have the habit of only tweaking the green color but in this session what we have done is we have tweaked the colors of the R, G and B together and I have created various variations over here. Can you see that? There are various variations available over here which have basically merged through key mix and we are getting something very weird at the end like if you check this key mix you are getting this patches over here okay but believe me this technique will give you a pure edge with pure color because this is generally the problem that we face whenever we are creating a D spill from the edge the green color at the edge is always there in the pixels like over here so what i've done is i've used this technique in key light color correction and i have made this different color corrections of key light and then nothing more than i reintroduced the color which will go along with the background like if you see over here there are three variations you have this sky variation you have this roof variation you have this metal variation as well and you have this black variation so i have just concentrated on three parts but when you are working you can go ahead and you can like do as much detail as possible so let's begin in this very different unconventional kind of format and in this lesson we'll be also exploring two plugins from newkipedia which are completely free one is called as channel mixer this is a bonus thing that we'll be watching at the end so stay tuned till the end of the tutorial and one over here is called the expand blur both of this plugin are available on newkipedia so please go ahead and download this because you will be needing this today for creating the edge spill okay removing the edge spill not creating the edge spill we have to remove it okay so let's head back to a pure file that we have over here so let me just go and start this project and this is where we had left last time and this is where we are right now there are certain spills and certain edge issues which are still persisting over here which will be removing now so what i'll do now is i'll create a new section i'll create a blank section over here and i'll just take a key light and i'll connect it to the footage the way we do it and generally the convention sorry undo that let me just zoom in very sorry for that okay i lost my key light let me get it back and let me just connect this let me zoom in and let's connect the source to the footage. So let me just connect this and get this thing aligned properly. Okay, and generally, whenever we have to de spill, this is a very simple technique that we do is we play with the green channel. That is, we make this thing minus one, uh, sorry, one, and suddenly you'll see all the green over here has gone. But in this technique, as I said earlier, we'll be basically merging this and checking it with the backing always remember till the time you do not have a background you do not have a background image please do not do any kind of color correction because everything is going to change once we merge it together okay so what i'm going to do now over here is uh, let me just connect this thing over here in my key light and let's see this what we have over here so this is what we have currently with the alpha that we generated last time but what I'll be doing now, as I said earlier, if you merge this thing with the background, okay, there are three kinds of color variation. 
one color variation which is this major you can say 60 70 percent blue color the sky color over here then you have this black portion on which his head is going there is this black portion over here where this jacket is going over here and you have this chin portion over which is on the roof okay so i'll begin by doing a color manipulation and i'll go back to the ski light okay which we have it is jerking a bit because let it just buffer yeah i think this is good enough because i'm also screen recording and now i'll go to key light and i just won't keep it like this i'll be basically manipulating the screen color in the r and the screen color of the blue so let's just come over here and increase this sorry decrease this and check let me just go and i'll try getting the blue color back so i'll just keep on changing this till the time i don't get the right blue so let me just get this okay this is good enough and let me also play with the blue over here because i was just playing with the red channel and let's see if we can get that blue yeah it's getting introduced now so i'm just playing with the balance of the red and the blue so you play the way you want to play and you get the right output now for me i know what works for me so i'm just gonna directly punch in the value that is i'm going to say red will be 11.3 i'll keep the green has uh, one and i'll be changing the blue to minus 20.42 because that's the value that worked for me for the sake of the tutorial i'm just punching in the right value but for you guys you can tweak and you can tweak it the way you want to tweak it uh, as per your background so now what we have over here is a green color okay which if we just transfer the alpha and merge it with the background what happens over here is at the edge the blue color is introduced okay so that the merging at the edges becomes more proper but now as i said earlier it is not just the blue color over here it is also the black color and it is also this roof color over here so what i'll do now over here is okay now I have one combination one blue color which is available over here i can just simply uh, copy this paste this and maybe connect this back to my footage through the source and now over here i'll check this and i'll just reset it back to where it is zero zero now i'll be creating another color combination for this gray region over here because when we merge this thing so you have this darker color over here so i'll be making another combination of color for which i'll go to the key light i'll press one over here and i'll change the r the g and the b now for the tutorial sake i'm just punching in the right value so i'll say minus 0 0.29 and i'll say 0 0.74 and i'll say minus 0 0.09 so it goes to that grayish color which is there in that background so now we have this two different key lights key light number one which is giving me this backing color of blue so that the blue color gets bleeded at the edges and there is one more color over here which we have just created using another key light which is this dark gray color so now let's hit a key mix and to the b i'll be connecting the blue key light and to the a i'll be connecting the black key light which is this one over here now just connect this thing to the key mix and let me just knead this thing out now what's happening over here is if you look at the key mix now okay you're completely seeing the b but what i want is the portions where the hair is touching this black color see this this black color i want the key mix color that we created over here the key light color that we create over here has to be available over here so i'll put a roto i'll connect this roto in the mask and as you know when you connect a roto to the mask the masking happens to the a channel whatever is coming from the a channel so now i'll just take my roto tool and i'll make a very rough roto to the portion which is getting into the black and I can also select this and give it some feather. Same view over here because this area is also overlapping the black portion. I can make another roto over here. Let me just zoom out. Let it buffer. Let me just zoom in and take the roto tool. And I'll be hitting a roto over here now.
and I'll select this and I'll press E on the keyboard so that we can feather this. So what we basically have done over here is if I now check the key mix, we have created a key mix which is having this blue portion 90% of the places and 10% of the places I have taken this black color so that now if you check it with the background so this area takes the black portion so the bleeding does not happen and the edge despill has happened over there same way at the hair portion and all the other portion that we see over here we get the blue color okay it's buffering it's taking some time so let it buffer now same way for the roof what we'll be doing is will be uh, this area which is basically connecting this is neither the blue color neither the black color it is some different color that we have so i'll be creating another key light which will be taking our uh, taking a color which is similar to this roof and then we'll be rotating it and putting it over here so a very unconventional way of doing a key okay so just i'll put another key light over here and same thing repeated i'll just make a connection and I'll connect it to the source. Let me just arrange this. And as I know what color is supposed to come over here, I'll just click over here and I'll put in the right color. So I'll just say R is going to be minus 1.6.6. Sorry. The G is going to be 0 0.6. And the blue is going to be minus 2.1. So this is the color that we have over here. Now once more I'm going to put another key mix and same way in the B I'll be connecting the key mix which was which we had previously. In the A we'll be connecting the new key light and definitely the connection from here is going to get connected to the new key mix and now I'll be putting another roto over here which I'll connect to the mask and then let's check the final output so I'll just go to this merge let it buffer. And I'll keep the roto on because now I need to roto only this much portion over here. The part where the chin is getting uh, intersected with the roof. So what we have done basically over here is instead of just keeping it as a normal despill, we color corrected the edges. Okay, the edges because what happens you know with the despill. The color from the background goes to the edges. So what we are doing is we are introducing that color which is similar to what we have in the background. So now let's take this and uh, roto this much part. We can make a bigger roto. I'm just making a tighter roto over here. And I'll select this and I'll same way say E so that the feathering happens. And now what happened over here is now if you look at this key mix, now this key mix is a combination of three different colors. The one, the color from the background, which is similar to the sky. You can make it even more brighter if you want to. The darker portions which are there, which is basically the area which is getting overlapped over here by the frame. And then we have the roof color, which was similar to what we can get closer to the roof. So I manipulated that, I created this color correction, and this is what we have right now. But definitely we don't want this, because still the code is is missing over here, and the skin tone is missing over here. And if you remember, in the first class we have done that. So now is the time when we are going to merge the code spill with the HD spill. So let me just make this thing more proper and just give it some more space. And I'll be coming over here, putting a backdrop. Let me call this thing has the HD spill. close this and this is what we got over here now how do you merge them together definitely merging is going to take another key mix and that's what we are going to do now so i'll just put a key mix over here a key mix and in the key mix a it will be the core and in the key mix b it's going to be the hd spill that we have created over here so let me just take it up and connect this thing to the hd spill and let me just arrange this and now this connection will go over here that's the alpha and let me just connect this thing again get this thing right and this is what we're getting okay but still remember one thing right now what's happening is the b is basically overpowering the a okay and we want a combination of both 
in this case what we'll be doing now is we'll be telling new okay let's use a mask okay and the mask that we'll be taking is from the one that we converted or basically we created from the core mat so what i'll say now is i'll connect the schemic mask to the core mat so i'll just connect this thing over here so now what's happening over here is the alpha that's happening in the core mat okay this alpha that you have in the core mat is now saying okay the a of the ski mix will be visible only through this so what's happening now over here is we have a combination of a key mix okay which is the core and we have a combination of the hd split it may be a little confusing but believe me you'll try it and you'll get it better okay and this is where we can use this plugin now which is something over here called as the x exponent blur i'll just copy this i'll come down over here the portion where we are basically merging the two d spills and let me just paste it here and connect it over here now what this exponent blur does is nothing more than it manipulates or pushes the alpha okay so i know exactly the setting that i need to do is i can just make the size as negative and you'll see what's happening right now is the size is shrinking okay so the value that worked for me is minus 10.4 and the multiplier i'll made it has i think a bit more so the shrinking happens better it's like i kept it to 3.34 so if you look at the alpha now okay if i just disable this and check see this so what i have done over here is the core mat alpha that i have taken i have used this plugin over here called as the x exponent blur and i've just shrinked it a bit more okay now the questions may arise that why can't we use this filter erode and all that definitely you can go ahead and do that i just wanted to show you one more plugin so what we did over here is we took the core mat we took the x exponent blur and just basically shrinked it a bit more and that mask is what we have connected in this key mix so what's happening right now is the cold e spill will be only visible from this area that we have okay that is now it's not going to take up the entire portion it's only going to take up the area which is internal like a mat okay so now we have a core mat which is running and despilling the skin tone and all that using this mask over here and then we have this despill technique that we did over here using this various color key light and using this various roto tools and all that and we have merged it together so now if you look at the output what we are getting over here is a proper edge integration with proper edge despill no matter there will be thousands of technique on internet thousands of technique available uh, every place which can show you different despill believe me this is just one of it that you can use for reducing the edge despill okay it's a little unconventional people may come up with very various doubts queries and all that and it may be confusing for many people at this stage but believe me try this and you'll get a very good output okay the only thing that we have done over here is instead of just manipulating the key light green we manipulated the r and the b also so we went and created a color very close to what we have in the background okay and that's what we wrote over we added a key mix and created a mat which is similar to this okay there could be more details more things that can be added and as i'm working only with one single frame okay it's very simple but if it's a moving pick definitely you'll have to do rotoscoping but this is just one of the techniques that you can use okay one of the techniques that we have for reducing the edge despill hope you guys liked it do comment do let me know and for the final bonus i'll show you a very different technique this time for reducing the despill okay from the overall footage no matter we have seen it but there is this plugin over here in newkipedia called as the channel mixer generally we use this technique for mixing color channels all together and that's something that we're going to do over here and i'll be showing you three techniques for doing despill one is called as green limited by red next is called as green limited by blue and the third is called as sorry it's called as green limited to the average of red and blue so let's see what this is okay in this case what i'm going to do is i have this channel mixer which i have already copied but as you say there's nothing visible right now because we need to connect this thing to the footage and now in the channel mixer if i just open this plugin it has like a red channel which is having red green and blue green channel having green red green and blue and same way blue for the blue channel and you'll say 
so we are saying red channel the entire information is coming from red green channel the entire information is coming from green blue channel the entire information is coming from blue and this is what will be manipulating for doing the dspill and this is called as green limited by red so now what i'll do over here is in the green channel because we have a green uh, chroma over here i'll make the green has zero and suddenly you see there is a weird thing which is happening over here it's like an entire different color gamut which is added over here but that's okay and the technique itself is saying green limited by red so i'll say let's introduce red by half though that's 0 0.5 we get some color and we'll say blue will be completely one now can you see that what happened over there you have basically despilled by changing by manipulating the channels can you see that the green color is gone but for making it more better for making it more prominent you just have to pass it through one more step that is you have this merge over here in which i have already made the mode as min and the a of this the b of this connected to the d spin and the a of this connected to the original footage so this is what we get over here so now if you check this you'll see the skin tones and everything have got reintroduced so we used a very different technique of doing despill and this technique is called as green limited by red and by now you must have already guessed it what this is going to be so if i just connect this channel mixer over here and the technique is called as green limited by blue so in this you can just double click and same way i can say green channel to be zero and as it says limited by blue so we'll make the blue has 0 0.5 and we'll make the red has one and same way we can take the merge i can just copy this i can just paste this and the b will get connected to the channel mixer and the a is going to get connected to the footage so now if you check this once more the skin tone is reintroduced can you see that specifically look at the nose area see this it's back this is another way of doing a despill so there are just three techniques you can use this you can use this because some of the footages this may work some of the footages this may work but I think one of the best techniques that you have is this one over here. That is green limited by the average of red and blue. Because this is what I have seen majorly people using. So it's like select this, go to your channel mixer. And as the name suggests, it's going to be green limited by red and blue. So it's going to be like there's no green. Red is going to be 0 0.5. And blue is also going to be 0 0.5. Can you see that? And same way, the last step has to be done. That is, you have to take a merge, paste it here. The B will be channel mixer and the A will be the original footage. And it's going to be a min. So this is what you do. Okay, so whatever you want to use, you can use. And this is a very neat technique of also doing despill. And what we have completed in this series till now is how to do a despill how to do create a core mat how to use core mat for manipulating your spills or for controlling your spill is what we saw today with this expound blur okay it may be a little confusing right now but believe me try this on your own with different footages and you'll find this technique of doing hd spill to be very 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 profitable hope you guys like this do let me know your comments in the comment section and do keep on uh putting your inputs to putting in uh, your suggestion on what kind of tutorials you require so until we meet next time for the last part in this uh, series that is the integration the final integration see you hope you have a great day thank you